Hey everyone, Electric Daisy Carnival here, and today I'm going to give off my list for the most amazing, most greatest, most important, and most shooty shooter person first games. That is right, I am doing top 10 lists now, like Watch Mojo, and this is going to be the best video I will ever make. FPS games are a big staple for the channel, and I thought to myself in bed, Hey, what if I made a top 10 list of FPS games? That's a great idea, man. I know, thanks. Now, if your favorite game isn't on here, I'm sorry about that. These are just games that I played and decided to put on the list. But this is the correct opinion. If you think otherwise, you are wrong and should be publicly executed. Anyways, gamers, let's get straight into the show! Whoa! Number 10! Originally for our number 10 spot, I wanted to add Hunt Down the Freeman since that game changed my life. You fucked up my face. Unfortunately, I accidentally refunded my copy of Hunt Down the Freeman and it's no longer in my Steam library, so... I can't get footage of it. Instead, I actually want to do something else. It's the only mod in this list, but I think I'm going to have to go with Half-Life M mod. I think this is the best Half-Life mod of all time. It gives players yet another reason to go replay Half-Life. There was also a recent update to this mod that ruined everything. Wait a minute, did, did you guys think I was talking about this? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't kid yourself, of course not. The mod was at peak perfection before they added random shit to the mod. Yeah, you see, I wouldn't really recommend a new version of this mod. I would recommend going back to the original release back in 2012. To most people, this would have been the finest wine you have ever chugged in your whole life. Entropy 02 and Black Mesa don't have shit on this version of M mod. In my correct and unbiased opinion, it is logically the best way to experience Half-Life 1. No questions asked. I mean, this guy even wrote, do not download please, extremely outdated. The fucking goal of this guy, how dare he label this masterpiece of a mod that? I just like how the pistol has a laser sight for virtually no reason. And I also like, um... Uh, there's also like an M4-2 and, uh, or something like that, and it can't hit anything, and, um... Oh shit, dude, they added in a Desert Eagle, bro, that's badass! Coming in at number 9, Quake 2 is without a doubt a divisive game, especially for its time when people just couldn't understand it. It was id Software's first game after the departure of John Romero. Personally, I think the game is awesome. It has some amazing gameplay. I think the Strog is badass and cool, man. They, like, uh, dismember people and stuff. It's totally not a glorified tech demo of what the Quake 2 engine can do. It's, like, ten times better than the first game. I love roaming around aimlessly trying to figure out where the hell to go while listening to... It's actually kind of funny because I'm writing all this part of the script on my toilet. I feel like that's a pretty good representation on how I feel about the game. Okay, so, um, number eight is, um, Men of Valor. I don't think I need to, uh, give an explanation for my reasoning here. Okay, uh, so number seven is, um, fucking Rogue Warrior. Commander, this is Peyton. What's your status? It's a total goat fuck. The fucking AI is intelligent and at times felt fucking real, dude. And how can I forget about these fucking animations? Lights out, motherfucker. Not to mention our fucking protagonist who puts Duke Nukem to shame. Go back to the fucking playground, bitch. Drop dead, motherfucker, you fucking amateurs. You fuck up communist, and it rocks my fucking American boner. Now that is the American fucking way. I also thought I told a personal and real fucking story. It felt like something that actually fucking happened. The fucking gun animations are amazing, and these fucking beautiful environments. Damn fuckers suck ass. It is, without a doubt, one of the best fucking FPS games of all time. Go fucking play it. Fucking loser. Report, Marcinko. What are you seeing out there? It's a goat fuck, Admiral. Your intel was bullshit. Coming in at number six is one of the greatest shooters ever made. You know that I'm talking about Jack 2, the open world fantasy sci-fi game where Jack and Daxter go to fucking prison. This game is fucking awesome, and the reason why is because it utilizes something called character relative aiming. 
You look at a game like Ratchet and Clank, and yeah, it's kind of cool, but when you're doing the shooting, it goes into shooting mode. And when you're doing the platforming, you're in platforming mode. What fucking gives? Meanwhile, in Jack 2, if you're jumping and hopping around, you're also shooting your guns. At the same time, Jack is just shooting whatever way he's facing, not whatever way you're facing, and that's what makes it such a powerful experience. It's like Mario 64 if Mario had a fucking gun. On top of that, the game lets you mix and match your moves together, making it one of the greatest shooters of all fucking time. If you haven't played Jack 2, then all I can tell you is that you're missing out on one of the greatest games that Naughty Dog has ever made. I mean, just look at the horse shit they're putting out now. Starting number 5 off is most possibly Naughty Dog's universally beloved masterpiece known as The Last of Us Part 2. On a serious note, it's kind of crazy where Naughty Dog took the story and the risk they made, killing off loved characters in a brutal way at the beginning of the game was something else, man. Love it or hate it, you can't deny that Naughty Dog had some balls releasing this game. I also like that one part where Ellie decides to smoke some oh, weed we while Joe is so involved in it. Number 5 is Halo 4. Halo 4 is most possibly the greatest Halo game of all time. I mean, IGN said so back in the day. Master Chief is back, baby. It honestly makes those Halo games that Bungie made pale in comparison. Fuck those games. The Prometheans were just so badass and interesting, like this vampire-looking Iron Man armored dude that just uses the force and disintegrates people. Isn't that so cool? I also thought the story was very emotional and very different this time around. I just... I love what they did with Cortana in Halo 4. Do you know what that condescending bitch said to me after our first game of chess? Let me just tell you, the story and dialogue were just 10 out of 10. They were brilliant. I loved seeing people scream at each other for no fucking reason. I will not allow you to leave this planet! To surrender that AI! Arrest that man! Captain, arrest him! And how can I talk about Halo 4 without mentioning its art style? I can't even be ironic. It was fucking terrible. Holy no, number, no, num, no, number, f, f, uh, f, um, no, no, number, uh, um, number, number, uh, number, uh, no, number, um, no, number, uh, um, num, uh, no, number, f, uh, f, no, num, uh. N num number f number five. Wait, no, fuck. It's not number five. We I just did that. Like, I already did that. Okay. Um, no, number uh, no, <clears throat> number uh, num number uh, no number f f uh four four. Wait, four four. No number uh four. No. Number four, four, num number four, four, number four, number four, okay, number four, number four, Men of Valor, what can I say, man, it's that good, all right, and number three is, um, oh shit, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 3D is what gave birth to the FPS genre, although it's not as a popular game on this list compared to that of Doom, which gained pretty big notice from the mainstream audience. But I want to try giving more appreciation for Wolf 3D since it was the first game that we would consider to be an FPS today. Without it, who knows what we would be right now. So, that's why it's on this list. Why the hell is Super Noah's Ark 3D playing on screen right now? Number 2. Number 2 is an obvious one. You know it, you all love it. For my pick, it's FEAR! Perseus Mandate! I have to add that Perseus Mandate is most possibly the greatest and best expansion pack ever made. The new awesome weapons, the cool mercs that have the personality of a potato and take a shit ton of rounds. The first time I saw one, I thought it was a boss fight. How was I supposed to know that it was a common enemy after unloading a whole fucking mag on his head? Take a look at these environments for the year of 2007. Doesn't this look like fucking dog shit? I mean, fucking awesome? So yeah, I thought it was kind of mid. Um, 10 out of 10, I would recommend it. Before we get to our number one spot, I would like to list some honorable mentions that didn't make it. Tetris is without a doubt a great game. It's simple and easy to understand how to play. To give you an idea of how much I love Tetris, there were days where I kept playing one single round for 24 hours straight. I actually can't feel my hands anymore because of that. Quake 4. 
Wait, why is Quake 4 on this list? I unironically really like Quake 4. This isn't even a joke. I'm being dead serious. Prey Typhon Hunter has got to be one of the worst things Arcane Austin has ever put out. Seriously, what the hell is this cash grab? It looks like an indie game that was made in three weeks. They decided to put it on a different engine for no reason, and the game looks uncanny because of it. The only somewhat cool part of this whole thing were VR tech demos that showed VR within the Prey 2017 universe. But even then, they weren't that impressive and just wasted potential. The only reason it is in honorable mentions is because you can put a sombrero on your mimic. I added Men of Valor because I didn't include it on the list and just had to mention it somewhere. Please don't call for my head on Reddit. Lastly, I really wanted to add Blood to the Chosen since it is better than the original in almost every single way. I wish you wouldn't do that. I also wanted to take this time to say how awesome robots are. AI is the future, and you will bow to your robot overlord. Number one. So I almost thought I had to call you before because this guy was fucking badass, man. But the most part, I just play ass shit all the time. And I can't play with Sergeant 2. You go to fucking Chernobyl, and you play with all the other parts, and you see that guy who has no arm, and there's like a shit down and explosions. And I uh, you do you shoot people? You also can go grenades. You got added all the sources because every top ten list that I see, they add Call of Duty 4 at the very bottom for no fucking reason. Uh so that's why I added it and because I'm fucking stupid. And that was my greatest list of FPS and first person shooters of all time. I hope you learned something grand and new today. Oh. Oh, I see. None of you give a shit. Oh, I see. I have bad opinions. None of the games I mentioned were good. All right, well, guess what, bitch? Guess what? That wasn't even the real number one spot. Yeah, that's right. I was holding it back on you guys. Are you ready for this shit? Are you ready? Prepare. The greatest FPS game of all time. It's Men of Valor on the Xbox!